So in, specifically in this video, guys, I want us to, to look at what happened in court. But I'm, I'm going to start by saying, obviously, uh, I record this video today uh, about what happened yesterday. Uh, quite interesting. For me, it just... It just uh, it just puts the court, um, it just puts the court, or oh, it just puts the case at bed. We're done with the case. Uh, I mean, come to think of it, what are we still doing? Like, come to think of it, what are we still doing, guys? Hey, <laughs> yo. So, abo abo they are saying. Oh, advocate is, is like, no, we're going to have to open a case against you. So uh, to some of us who have been telling people that, listen, um, you guys have got a lot of questions here. And yeah, I was doing, I was going through these preparations. And uh, yeah, today when there was a court judgment, uh, the Ukumnis uh, started by saying there were people in the, in the house when the incident took place. Zandi Kumalo was there according to, the, according to her testimony between 7 to, 7 to 8 p.m. They were uh, accosted by two men and the deceased was fired and shot. Obviously, the interpreter, look, obviously, this person is from a cell phone. Look, um, this woman, uh, she's a cell phone expert, so she doesn't know that. You know what I'm saying? So at this moment, you don't expect her to question that. Uh, yeah, she says that the, the entry for 29, 23.9, uh, the tower reflecting there is uh, Gold Street at the at 19 Moy Street, uh, 1941 Moy Street, and uh, to, at 8 past 8, past, uh, eight uh, in Gold Street. Then, Yabona, this is where Advocate Mnesi was saving. Ooh, ooh. This is where I think accused number three. He's going to sleep in peace. In fact, yar, I remember I saw a newspaper writing a question. Was he there? Hey, that question alone. Was he there? Oh, Jehovah. <laughs> was he there? Was the accused there? It's a that question doesn't look you know you you cannot appreciate the question, but when you listen to this, considering when this thing happened, if the tower says, uh, if the tower in Job Exhibit it picks that accused number three represented by uh, by Advocate Mnesi was at Moy Street, up until at eight past eight p.m. He's picked at Moy Street. Then you have to tell me this. Who was at Fort Lauderdale? It then defeats also the confession. You know, everything is defeated in this one. Yo, guys, this, this, this is very, very interesting. But there's another thing that is interesting, and it is this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed everything we know about this case it just keep collapsing remember we looked at things from a confession point of view and remember i said to you guys mm -mm, man there's something off about the confessions do you remember me saying that now you're going to have to tell me what are you seeing right now. Me, I'm just seeing people getting defeated through their very own tricks. <laughs> the state here is in trouble. In terms of the time, 19.30 p.m. and 8 p.m. on the 26th of October, the cell phone ending with the 8169, where does the data indicate the phone was? Um, okay, we've already done with that one. Which area are they? 
around Johannesburg, the Vodacom expert answer, where uh, it, it, it should reflect Joburg CBD area. Remember, there's a confession from accused number one, accused number two. So if the Vodacom cell phone expert tells you that accused number three, his cell phone is picked in Joburg CBD, but there is a confession that says he was there, and that confession was um, was accepted, preliminary accepted, if I may say. Therefore, it tells me that the confession made by accused number one and two, which is contradictory to one another, e e look, indeed, it answers that question that, nah, man, was these people forced to make this confession? This, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, answers the question very nicely. Yes, they were coerced to make that confession. Because they both include accused number three there. But the, the, but the cell phone expert says, nope, this man was not even around that area. He was somewhere else, but not in this area. Let's go to photo exhibit. Okay, we're not going to focus on that one. The photo exhibit. Um, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into this one where he's asked to look at this one. Uh, he's asked to look at what was happening there. Now, Nisi takes us through what is interesting here. Uh, on the 26th of October, now unfortunately there is a photo album, Working Copy, let's leave that one. Nisi, this is the place, uh, Lisedi, which he and his friends were visiting, uh, visiting. so it is no wonder, it, look, it was picked up there at Fort Lauderdale ta West Tower. Uh, the cell phone expert, we have also, we, have, we, we also have Lisedi Tower or, or we also have Lizardy Tower, although it doesn't reflect on a uh, look on the set of data. I just looked at the map. We have Lizardy Tower there as well. Where is Lizardy? Is in the vicinity of Fort Loras, the Vodacom expert answers. Now, accused number three, if needs be, he will come and tell this court that he always had his phone in his position. That is also the case of on, on, on the 26th of October 2024 when he went to sleep as a look as his phone data indicate at 8 30, look at in fact this guy he look he went to sleep that day earlier at look at 28 minutes to 9 his phone was in his position he slept and his phone was next to him is it correct that you were requested to do section 205 a data analyst um, it's alleged the phone belonging to Kelly Kumalo ending with 4380, uh, 4350, look, 43, 4358. I was requested, I also confirm, uh, this is my statement, Miss. it talks about the three page and everything. I think the most important thing I've, I've already covered in this one, right? Uh, the notes are very long, guys. Mm, yeah, the notes are very long, are very long. The problem that we had was the Excel. Nisi introduces the issue of Excel, which becomes another problem, right, that we need to deal with. But listen, that is an Excel, and we went through it, um, the cell phone data, but it is changeable. Excel is used for analyzing purposes, says the Vodacom, Vodacom expert. Now you are saying that the, the call data you provided is supplied in PDF format and cannot be changed. Yes, as it is, says the Vodacom expert. We're going somewhere. That's why I'm mentioning this. I can't answer that because I didn't give it to you, Nisim. Uh, tends to 2nd of August. Um, okay. Remember that the information can't be changed, but the information is provided in a what what, and then it's there's an Excel. That becomes a key thing. But one thing you should note is that what Nisim did very well here is that he t he makes some very interesting point to say advocate i mean sorry to say accused number 3 had his phone in his position when you see this movement he was there that therefore translate into this it's only logical that it's only logical to say 
this person had his phone on his, or at his hands or, or in fact on 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 his look or, or always on their hands right because we always do so we always have our phone our phones in our hands let's go to 15 october 2014 uh, i'm not going to look into this one there's one that i'm i'm interested in um um where okay yes hey i get it Nisi turns into what's called um, discrepancy between Vodacom data and data presented by Colonel Lambastas Stain. That is where I want us to be. She can, oh, OTSC says she can only comment on Vodacom set data as she is familiar with it. Nisi, uh, Utai, let's, back, let's, back, look, let's look at page 23 and read. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Why these numbers be different from the, the like other numbers uh, that are there, right? The data that we supplied is done in a PDF. It cannot be manipulated by us. This statement belongs to somebody else. I have no idea how this information was extracted. extracted. I can only comment on the information that we provided. Nisi, thank you, ma'am. Perhaps... There will be an explanation, as you say, this information cannot be tempered with. Yeah. This, another jab that was given to these people, another interesting one, because if this Vodacom cell phone expert says, I cannot testify on this information because I don't know what is here. I don't know what they've done in this one. Number one, we have already established that the phone for, of accused number two, we know on a stay that Umukwan said they, they were testifying there. We know for a fact that on a specific day, they were there doing whatever they were doing there, uh, as they say. You remember that? Busy investigating accused number two. But then they transported his phone uh, to Mickey Beck. Then the phone was busy somewhere while the accused number two was being investigated. So... Again, discrepancy. The question that we have to ask is, would it ever be enough for the judge to make the right decision? Because, mm -mm. I guys, na 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 Edited. Oh, that is Excel. Now you say the information is provided in a PDF format. Then why is that yours in a PDF format? And this one that hasn't been supplied to us is editable. Hmm. This is where it started the problem. The Vodacom expert says, I cannot answer that because I'm not the one who submitted it to you. I ask of the data provided by Colonel Lambaster Stain with the data provided by you. It does not correspond. <laughs> That's where the problem starts. Remember, Vodacom is the it, it, it You know, sorry guys, so talking about um, when you are think when you are talking about because Lambaster Stain, remember that he is a cell phone expert from the from the South African Police Service, right? So if Lambaster Stain is um, if Stain is a if Stain is, for instance, a a cell phone expert, whatever he says, it must correspond with another cell phone expert, a different one. If whether they know each other or they don't, it's neither here or there. But the Vodacom expert here says the information provided, the information that you are saying here, my information from Vodacom, remember Stain testified about numbers coming from Vodacom. But Stain has a different information. Vodacom has a different information. And that information does not correspond. Where did they get that information then? <laughs> In the realm of cell phone data, does that happen? 
go to look <laughs> listen to this listen to the answer not not likely we do have duplication of calls and not activities that does that don't show but in this case it happened oh. Otumnisi, is this not one of the things you were taught to guard against being fraud? I don't think it is fair for me to confirm that this is fraud. It could be misrepresentation of facts, Askumnis. Sbanda, I object. The witness said she did not provide this data, but the data must correspond. This is where the state is trying to say, please don't ask this witness more questions because uh, we have already found our way out and you asking these questions is going to lead us backward and that's not what we, where we want to be with you. That's exactly what the state is saying. But look, listen to this one. Autumn, is this not the... Okay, we've already confirmed that one. Uh, where, where was I? Okay, ooh, look. Um, <laughs> the data constitutes fraud, and that the that is because it differs from the evidence presented by you. Who testify that you cannot tamper with? The witness says I can't comment. Nisi, the sole purpose is to fabricate a case, to trump up a case against accused number five, so that it appears that accused number five had a communication with Kelly Kuma. What a com expert says, no, I can't comment. <laughs> Nisi. Point number look, point number three in, in look in, in furtherance of the tempered up case against number five, that he had communication with Kelly Kumar. No comment. Nisi. We have instruction to go to our in, look, instructing attorney to lay a complaint, um, a complaint against the uh, the compiler of this data. That the that Compa complaint will be uh, premised on fraud uttering, look, uttering because it intended to mislead this court. In other words, here, this is simply saying, we have, sorry guys, we have received instruction from our, from the people we represent. We have received instruction to open a case of fraud. This amounts to fraud. But listen to this one. This is where it gets interesting. The state spent its time talking about this number called this number, this number called this number, this number called this number. One of the things that you should note about that behavior is that their intention was to create a situation where people get tired so much so, when they are tired, they don't go through the necessary details. But thanks to the defense, instead of following all these numbers, you know what I'm saying, sequence by sequence, the, the, the defense strategically focused. You must look at, for instance, Advocate, look, Advocate Mgomezu. He, he did not spend much of his time doing the same thing. But instead, he focused on what matters the most. He proved them that they are lying. Despite them telling us lies after lies after lies after lies, but he just showed at them. It took him l l l half a day to prove that they are lying, and it was done. Uh, Ramsey Pillar laid the foundation very nicely. Mnisi, yo, this guy's destroying this case, completely destroying this case. So, okay, we all know that now they will be laying criminal charges against them, okay? Uh, the Vodacom expert says, uh, there's basically nothing that I can say, right? Uh, no comments. Nisi, we know this incident happened in, in October 2014, and these cell phones were, uh, were, were before the incident. On behalf of my, uh, look, of, the accused, or of my accused, this information on paragraph 4 constitute fraud. Why do I say that? Because it differs materially from what you provided and how this fraud was committed, I don't know. I don't know. This manipulation of information. The purpose of this info on Exhibit 2, the sole purpose is to fabricate a case, to trump up a false uh, a case against 
accused number five. It fabricates appear that that there was a communication with Ukeli Kumalo. Oh, my dot. So Nisi wraps up his cross examination. Before we jump into Numan, it is quite not look. It's very interesting, but I'm I'm gonna deal with Numan separately. For me, Nisi has just destroyed the case, and it's done, dusted. Let's get into Numan for now. 